welcome to Let's Bring Them In. My name is Benjamin DeHart. I'm your up and coming marketing rock star. What's up? It's Evan Klein, the Time Wizard. And as always, this is Sir Derek, your Knight of Ethics. This is Let's Bring Them In, a comedy marketing podcast there where we rebrand the brands that don't need rebranding. Tonight on the cast, Derek has a good opening story, so I'm going to pass the bill over Seriously, to him. Seriously, it's good. Just right. listen. I yeah I I I don't mean to to toot my own horn, but I haven't heard this. But Derek has been hyping it up. Mm-hmm. Audience, you're in for a real treat. So everyone, including Ben and Evan, and all of the listeners, my dad hurt his knee golfing about this a week or two ago. This is already really good. <laughs> <laughs> he, his knee golfing. He loves golf. He's a big time golf man, and he's getting to the age where you know something as low impact as golf can really mess your knee up. And so I got this text and he's like, ah, I, I hurt my knee. And I said, dad, what's wrong? Are you okay? And he goes, I think I tore my meniscus. And I was like, oh, wow. Mazel and then like top. a week went by. I know. <laughs> and then like a week <laughs> went by and I didn't hear anything. So just yesterday or the day before I called him up and I was like, man, what's going on with your knee? Did you get it looked at? Do you need surgery? What's happening? Are you in pain? And he goes, I'm in a lot of pain. I need to have surgery to fix my meniscus. I can't get into surgery until October 8th, so I'm using my grandfather, his da- his dad's dad's, or no, his mom's dad, whatever, his old cane to walk around right now. And I was like, oh, well, it's a good thing that we had that cane so you can move around a little bit easier. And he goes, yeah, but I bought a new cane. And I was like, oh, cool. Is it one of those that has like the four feet on the bottom? So it's like a little bit more stable. You don't have to worry about wobbling. That's no. claw. Yeah, like a claw cane. And he goes, he goes, no, it's a cane with a hooded cobra on it. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that little Lucius Malfoy vibe, like, that's very cool. And he goes, yeah. and it has a 22-inch sword on the inside God, of it. God, that's so <laughs> fucking cool. That Which rips. is exactly what I told him. I said, Dad, that is not what I expected you to say, A, but B, that is very, very cool. Send me a picture. And so I sent you guys the picture that he sent me, and sure enough, it is a cane with a saber on the inside. Don't know if it's full tang or Can not. Can I assume I asked... that we will uh, tweet this photo along with the episode next oh, week, yeah. right? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Where did you, uh, where did he get it from? Did he buy I, it from I, uh, like a shady store in the mall? So therefore it would be authentic. Maybe from a uh... <laughs> sleeping tiger. In the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we should rebrand them. Oh my gosh. It, How, it, well, actually, it, no, we shouldn't. How can you rebrand something? I was going to perfect? say, impossible task. You can't fix perfection. Um, yeah. And I think that there's something truly incredible about the energy that comes along with owning a sword cane. Cane well, sword. That yeah. is, it got me thinking, and I wanted to pose this question to you guys, because why don't we just all carry sword? well, not swords, why don't we all A, carry canes, even if we don't need them for walking, and B, why don't some of them have swords on the inside? Because I feel like... That's just conflict resolution. If all of a sudden two guys are like, I've got a cane, I've got a cane, we're disagreeing about something. We've we talked can, about I, bringing dueling back, right? Like, I yeah. just think so, but not yeah. like real seriously. And like, to be like, yeah, I'll hit you with my cane, you'll hit me with your cane, like, let's come to blows. Or, do we really want to do this? Because I have a sword in mine. Hey, we can have also, a real fight. That also solves social security with like a bunch of elderly people in nursing yeah. homes. They All yeah. they do is like, lift up their walker, and then it becomes two Gatling cannons on either side. <laughs> ah, yes, That'd a cane so cool. to a walker fight. Exactly. This is pretty good. Never bring a sword cane to a Gatling walker. <laughs> yeah, I've thought through all dangerous avenues, like any potential risk for danger. I really don't. This is a good idea, and I, I think that if we did this, it would, number one, improve quality of life. If you right. have something to live for and to die for, Mm-hmm. Great, great day, right? You, you, you find by the out sword what's game, Die by the sword. Exactly. Well, exactly. I, mean, I was just spitballing here, and I was like, if everyone had a cane on them, the only risk is they might hit me with that cane if I piss them off. But I also have a cane. We could hit each other with canes. Yeah. But now, if there's a sword tw- involved, untwist it? I think it's just like a like you just give it like a sharp little, and it oh. like a sheath, like it just like, pops a, like right a little, mm. like yeah, a little, mm. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, because I was, if you have to unscrew it, because I when I was a kid I had one that you had to unscrew. It of was course. very uncool because yeah. like you couldn't uh, be in the throes of gentlemanly rapport and then say, mm-hmm. "Hold on, knave, screw, 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 screw." 
a screw screw and then yeah. pull out a sword. I feel yeah. like at that point you're you're the momentum of the gentlemanly energy is is over. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And that but gentlemanly energy like... is hard to achieve, you know, normally. Luckily, yeah. we we have pills for things like that. What were you saying, Derek? Right. Well, it just it <laughs> seems to me <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. Uh, it just, it seemed to me when I was thinking about this and thinking about bringing this to you guys with the cast, it seemed like if there was a threat of an actual sword, a blade, a coming to blows with blades for any kind of conflict there is, it seems like a lot of conflicts wouldn't happen anymore because they'd be like, are we really going to do this? Uh, I've got a sword, you got a sword, I know, but mm. are we really going to do this because we will both get cut one of us may lose something very important to them. And it's like, you know what? You're right. It doesn't need to come to this. Let's A, talk this out, or just B, go our separate ways without having come to blows. I feel like it would solve at least a good number of conflicts just at the outset. The 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 argument there normally makes sense. It's just, and I don't <laughs> want to uh, undo the fact that we brought duels back in another rebrand, but yeah. like, Baby, baby Hamilton from the hit mm -hmm. musical Hamilton did not end up going that way, nor nor old Hamilton from the hit musical Hamilton. It's true. They both ended in the same sticky ending. The yeah, same the coward's sticky. death. They yeah. wanted to shoot in the air that the, so the bullet would come down and kill them, but from a exactly. different angle. <laughs> They're playing the long game. <laughs> exactly. That they know. They're like, uh, <laughs> no, actually, they shot high in the air, arched perfectly because you know, Newtonian physics, they knew, yeah. uh, to bring it down in an arcing uh, nature and kill yeah. their opponent. Their opponent didn't know, though, so they moved, which is actually means that they lost the duel. They just didn't realize it. Yeah. yeah. Aaron, Aaron Burr is no honor, but still alive. Yeah, that's right. Grim. Respect. Well, not anymore. Well, to this day, still alive. That's right. <laughs> right. I forgot that he uh, <laughs> found the Philosopher's Stone. It's true. Um, it's half -life. crazy what crazy what bring, being vice president can get you. It's true. Speaking of Philosopher's Stones, you guys, do you want to talk about Legoland or no? I would love to talk about Legoland and how it relates to the Harry Potter Philosopher's yeah. Stone set. I'm kind of busy, actually. All okay. right, now I'm ready. Right. Oh, All okay, right. good. Yeah, we'll do something else. Hee hee hee. Sweet. So this week we're rebranding uh, Legoland, which in the Mall of America is actually, actually called the Lego Imagination Center. Okay, okay. Mm. So they've done their own little rebrand. We all know what yeah. we're rebranding here. We're rebranding Legoland. You've seen it, whether mm. you've do see been there in downtown Disney or uh, you've found it in a fancy mall like the Mall of America. That's where I, I've encountered them in, in those two places. I don't know if Me you've too. seen Legolands elsewhere. Those are the two that I've seen. Those are the only two that exist. And if you <laughs> try to I say there's others. It. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> other than I got a Legoland, buddy, you know where it is? In my brain, where I imagine all my Legos having sex. <laughs> Crazy what those bricks can do. <laughs> about your Legos having They're sex. all Bionicles. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. Lego Bionicles are not Legos. Though they inhabit the same sort of, sort of space. Yeah. Uh, however, does Lego own Bionicle? I'm pretty sure they do. You might be uh, right about let that. Let me get the actually. intern on this one. Yeah, get the intern looking that up. Uh, line of Legos, yeah. Originally a wow. subsidiary of Lego's Technic series. But yes, mm. owned by Lego. God, how fucking badass are Bionicles? They're so cool. I, I was thinking about them yesterday. The, the first line where it was just biped badasses. The second yeah. line where they were those roly-poly badasses. Mm -hmm. Where they their little heads would pop out and jam at you. Yeah. And I don't know what happened after that because at that point I got into Yu-Gi-Oh!, I always thought Bionicles were top tier in terms of toys. Yeah. Yeah. Assemblable uh, action figures, I suppose. They were, uh, they were awesome. Also, well, they were like, uh, they were a way to take on connects because they weren't just 2D, like 3D platformers. I think nice. that's key is because, yes, you could uh, build them to the standards that they were, they were, they were supposed to be. But the cool right. thing about it is that they were built so that you could kit bash them. Similar mm -hmm. to how Lego, it, you can build anything out of it, out of whatever set you get in a set. You yeah. can do the same thing with Bionicle. You create a monster, uh, an yeah. absolute affront to Jesus Christ, our <laughs> Lord and Savior. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> become, become like that guy from uh, you know Spy Kids 2 that made the messed up animals. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. The uh, the third iteration of Bionicle that you're having difficulty remembering, Ben, were the Rakshi, and they had staffs, and they had like a weird compartment that mm-hmm. housed like their worm brain. But I collected all six of those because I wanted to make the crazy amalgamation monster that they had in the back pages of the oh, cool. book. Yes, I always so loved I seeing the the like creature with the six masks or whatever. And yeah. like that being some badass power range. I think they that was an attempt to ape Power Rangers in a little bit of a way where they were combining yeah. their powers. Maybe. And stuff. I kind Buildable of Power Rangers and Transformers. Yeah. It is it's strange to see how those things uh have overlap and even yeah. though, even though you don't really think of them in the same in the same kind of vein. Mhm. I'm kind of tempted to give Derek uh the salute of the week uh by building all of them. So this one's yeah, to you, I will Derek. Say, you know what? Ugh. You're right. Salute, Derek. Yep. Congratulations on building all six of the third generation Bionicle. Yep. Cheers Thanks, to you. gentlemen. Thank you. I it's really like the that. the uh, real men of genius from uh, mm. Bud Light, but way mm-hmm. cooler. Um, way cooler. Way cooler. Okay. And not trademarked. Well, let's no. talk about Legoland. Legoland. Uh, Derek, what, Derek, what is Legoland? Describe it to me like I don't speak. Uh, Danish American or English. English. Oh, okay. Um, Lego. Don't they? Buy. Store. Boring germs. Mm, boring. Bad. Toys okay. R Us. Evil. Target. <laughs> evil. Walmart. No way. No how. Okay. Yeah, precisely. All right. I'm, um, I'm picking up English very rapidly now, so you can be a little bit more verbose. Excellent. So in broad strokes, the Lego Imagination Center in the Mall of America is decorated with a lot of lego sculptures but uh-huh. is basically at its basis just yeah. a lego store okay so I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to pause you again i should yep. have explained the way i learned english was by watching sitcoms so i'm going to need <laughs> you to use catchphrases from sitcoms excluding one in particular for obvious reasons uh but go ahead from there on especially 90s sitcoms Okay. Um, well, oh, sometimes you can actually go to the uh, tables and build little uh, things yourselves and then point at your parents and say, did I do that? <laughs> um, mm, okay. Uh, God. And then you can uh, help. I, what is, what's another fucking... Everywhere you ben, look. They don't, and they everywhere ben, you... they don't swear on the TV You're shows. You're right. Go ahead, Derek. <laughs> everywhere you look and everywhere you go... There's a Lego. Okay. And somebody who's building it? Or willing to buy it for you. I understand. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and then I'll give you one more chance. Oh, nice. Um, I will say, if I was to throw a party and invite both of you guys, yeah. <laughs> then I would give you a set of Legos and say, thank you for, thank you for befriending this Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what show is this? Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that checks. That's a good one. All right, Derek, <laughs> last one. one for you. Oh, shit. Um, well, so I pulled up to the Lego store, like, <laughs> about midday, yeah. and I yelled to the cashier, yo, got some good kits? And then I looked at the Lego Kingdom, and I was finally there, and I built myself a throne, just a big fancy chair. That's pretty That's good. That's very good. I looked at those Legos and then back at my parents and then back at the Legos and said, why don't he want me, man? <sighs> Damn. Damn. That's like, uh, um, that's from the TV show. Uh, I'm trying to think of a funny thing to say. Fresh no, Prince of it's Bel-Air. really sad. It's yeah. very, it's the saddest moment of the whole show. Yeah, I, I would say it's probably the saddest moment of the whole show. Other than how they always pick on the short black guy. That's, they're so mean to Carlton? him. I don't like that. No, yeah. Carlton's a city. Um, oh, you're right. I you're forgot right. what this guy's name yeah. was. But you talking about Jeffrey? I don't like how they pick on uh, Jeffrey. That's not yeah, nice. No. The Jazzy, DJ Jazzy Jeff, that is. Not mm. their oh, Not the yeah. butler. <laughs> Yeah, Butler sucks. That guy's a nerd. He has English accent, which means he's the bad guy, if you think about it. That's fair. That's fair. He does act as the antagonist when Uncle Phil isn't fulfilling that role. Yeah. True. Very or, true. you know, white people are fulfilling that role. <laughs> Big ups. And they're right to point at us as the villains. We are often the villains. Um, look at history. So let's look at a review for Legoland. All right. So, actually, 
the Lego Imagination Center because sorry. so here was the oh, sorry, biggest sorry, difference sorry. that I was trying to get into earlier is this is like a Lego store. Lego Land has like rides and is an amusement park, oh. and we recently did one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stick it. Let, we're we're rebranding the Lego of Apple stores, basically. Yes, here. yes. The Imagination Center. The, that okay. is our, for all intents and purposes, for the rest of this episode, to be referred to as Lego Land. All right, nice. Yeah. So, this is coming to us from. Boy, let me. I've got three different kinds of reviews. I've got Google reviews, TripAdvisor, and one singular bad Yelp review. And so give I'm me saying, one. Give me one that make me go what? I want right. that too. Yes. Give me one like that. Okay. Please. I'm glad you're throwing out requests. We don't usually do this on the show, but it's something that I've always been wanting. Okay. So this is a TripAdvisor review from Kralberg of Winnipeg, Canada. A one dot out of five. Imagination Center? Kind of misleading. Yikes. It's a store. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse That's me. That's the title. I've been trying to use my imagination here, but this is actually a store. This That's is just good. store. Wait, no hold imagination. on. I'm in a ball, and this is just a store. <laughs> I was expecting a lot of free-flowing imagination. <laughs> this is merely a store. I was expecting writing prompts. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. You're trying to sell me stuff. This is a store. <laughs> oh, what is this? Some kind of capitalist sham? I thought I'd be <laughs> thinking here. This is Trash. supposed to be a right brained activity zone, and you're trying to sell me product. <laughs> so, uh, Kralberg says to TripAdvisor there were a couple of activities, i.e., a table with some Lego, etc., for kids <laughs> to do, but essentially, this is just a store and not an experience, and absolutely not an attraction. Kids were super disappointed. What did he tell his kids? Oh, well, no, no, wait. <laughs> We're assuming in this review that he says that it's his own kids. I would love it if he just went up to all of the other kids in the store and were like, are you having a good time? And they're like, yeah. please well, leave me alone, mister. Can I paint you a picture of Mall of America right please now? Please do. Go on. It's been a while since I was there. Yes, I've they've never... got incredible Lego sculptures, and the area does feel a little sparse in terms of, yeah, they've got a bunch of like zones where you can build and play with Legos, and then... All along the walls, there's like place where you can places where you can actually pick up sets, or they've got a wall of like actual little bits and bobs you can purchase individually. Sure. The thing is, if that doesn't get your goat for the forty minutes that you want to spend in that store, you could take an additional twenty steps forward and be in a SpongeBob themed theme park. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do we need to calm down because my, uh, you know interest meter through the roof spongebob <laughs> theme park check please but anyways we have to stick to business i'm so what i'm thinking is like right now uh spongebob uh theme park is like uh computer at home but computer at work is lego uh store. right so you're right we need to stay focus focused on the good I, screen I, as the they only it. reason that i was bringing that up is that like there's more to do in mall of america if you get done with lego like lego <laughs> yeah, exactly. experience center yeah uh, maybe this may be similar to how i learned uh english through 90 sitcoms this guy like only learned fun through legos <laughs> so like he goes to the food court and he's like this is these are like legos you can eat yeah. <laughs> then he goes to like the mattress store. He's like, oh, Legos you can sleep on. Oh, yeah. The Fort Locker, goes, these are Legos you put on your feet. Goes to yeah. the movie theater. This is Lego Man Batman. Oh, yeah. it is Lego Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. Yeah. Goes to the amusement park. Are these, uh, these are made of Legos, yes? The most stable <laughs> thing I know. Anyways. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. This is very interesting that he's like, yeah, I guess there's this. The, oh, the fact that this store has Legos you can play with, kind of a no-brainer, because it's like right. it's sampling a product, but it's also like they're letting you have the experience that you, if you pay for it, will get to replicate. So True. you don't even, like, you could just theoretically not pay. I mean, maybe you... You don't have to pay to get in, no. Yeah, no. Well, that, no, what I'm saying is like, you just ask, you get a set, open it. I'm sure they have sample sets open. You can't just um, open it, any It's more just set. like they've got a table and a bunch of spare bits. That you can oh, yeah, play there's with. like free-for-all Legos. How can you use your imagination to well, make I'm a Lego I'm going to use my imagination to make a big-ass bazooka Lego, and then I'm going to spray it with uh, epoxy and Ooh. leave, because it's mine now. <laughs> you'll, never, <laughs> you'll never undo this bazooka. <laughs> I imagined oh, this. Guy. 
That guy who brings in the epoxy is back again. <laughs> He's going to take more of our Legos. <laughs> Why did he make a dildo-shaped bazooka for the time? <laughs> what, about, what about an adult-themed Lego store? Okay. Tell me yeah, more. All right. No, that's it. I don't want to go any further. It's not I, very funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it is funny. But I'm going to let the audience decide what's funny to them. Yeah, they get to put that <laughs> joke together. Like the sure. Legos. Like Legos. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I feel like we should put more bits together in general. We should just throw out and joke ingredients for the audience to put together like Legos or Bionicle. Definitely. That's a good idea. All right. Uh, real fast. Let me get one. Uh, okay. A uh, guy goes into that Lego shop uh, with no shirt. <laughs> That's but, pretty and, good setup. But he no, says no. he'll build one himself. And... <laughs> From there, End you scene. can. Yeah, you got it from there. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. I know you, listener, creative guy. You're listening. Or girl. We're or a Jewish anything. guy. A priest mm-hmm. and a uh, imam walk into the Lego land. Yep. Now I'm going to let the re- that you just build the rest out of that. I setup. press pause. Imams don't exist. That's an a imam. quick little hole in Explain. the story. Imams? What's an e- imam of the internet? Are they like. Uh, like a house mom. I meant an imam is in like a Muslim priest. Imam was a Muslim priest. I was thinking like <laughs> e-girl. No! <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Both no! of you just came into my brain from different sections and exploded right in the middle. We I thought of both of them at the same time. Like a go-kart. Yeah. And now you can't separate a mom on Twitch from a Muslim priest. No, nope, yeah. you can't. And well, now that now. I now that I think about it, I don't know why uh, why a, a, a mom who likes the internet would be with the other two characters. But <laughs> who's to Whatever. say? It's Minnesota. It's, They're very. I'm accepting so people. happy yeah. that that's where you went. Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like now you, the listener, get to choose what's funnier. <laughs> yep. And then tell us uh, by interacting with us, and we'll tell you where to do that later. Uh, okay. Um, another review. Or okay. Ultimately, this guy. I, you know what would rock his gourd is if he went mm. to the food court where they got all the different kinds of food that looked true. like Legos. That's true. That's true. He would love that. Yeah. He could imagine what it's like to eat. Derek, what's another mm. review? So this one is coming to us from uh, Google Reviews from BD, who is a local guide. It's a two-star review. It's ben not Hart. typical. It's ben, ben, it's ben, what did you write? It's not, it's not me. What did you write? Ben, it was a two-star uh, review. Hashtag? Disappointed, <laughs> went into the Lego imagination experience and still could not shake the overwhelming feeling of dread that I've felt for years. No, no, that's not what he wrote. I, I'm reading the review right here. It says Ben Hart and it says uh, one star. Uh, Lego too small. Didn't I choked on it? Not tasty. <laughs> zero. Would give zero stars if I could. That's what that's what the review says. Here, that is actually. on brand. It said age yeah. four or higher. Yet, <laughs> <laughs> and I was able to eat the whole thing. I and ate I'm, the whole thing. And I'm only three, <laughs> and I'm 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it only took me two years, not three. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Who this mysterious BD character? Yeah, not yes. not Ben DeHart. Not Ben DeHart. Confirmed. <laughs> ben DeHart says, "Hey, thought this was <laughs> thought this was going to be something special." But it's just a giant Lego store. <laughs> Typical Lego prices, not too much more of a selection for the size. They also just tend to have more of everything in the store rather than have a larger selection. We'll say the play pits are a nice touch. All right, so this guy walks into stores, plenty of them, and mm-hmm. all of them have Legos. Because yep. he, he walks into this one and says, oh, this one has Legos too? Um, so here's, I think, the big, the big issue that both of these reviews have touched on, is that the branding of the Lego Imagination, what, what is it? Lego Imagination Center. Imagination Center. That's wrong. It's, yeah. It needs to change. It's just yeah. not right. Legoland is nice, but it does give the idea that you're going to go to rides, and that's not true. Um, or a land made entirely of Legos. Exactly. Yeah. Like in it's, it, it's not true. I think if you called it something as simple as the Lego store, you'd get the Apple store crowd, but you wouldn't attract kids. True. Um, you need something like Lego, Lego games, uh, Lego, Lego Palooza. Lego Palooza is very good. Uh, but it also, uh, kids don't understand why that they, why they like That's that. True. They, they, they've never been to Lollapalooza. Kids. 
I kind of like just having the store be like Legos, Legos, Legos. Legos, Legos, Legos is good. <laughs> and it also <laughs> sounds like the the second level of Mario. Legos, Legos, Legos. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> I want you, sleeping, sleeping Tiger Legos. Sleeping Tiger Legos. <laughs> That's good too. The, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the reason that I chose this review is because yeah. it ends with "We'll say the play pits are a nice touch." And my mind immediately went to a ball pit, but the balls are all Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine really a more good. painful experience? <laughs> no, it sounds so like good. torture. Yeah, such high density <laughs> plastic. <laughs> With no. sharp right angles. <laughs> yeah, that I I feel like if that's not gonna tear your skin off, then you're then there is really nothing nothing. There's there's a no fate worse. However, mm, that's true. If However, the pit were filled with Duplos, that would be the most fun ever because the Duplos mm. sl- let fewer right angles. Yeah, so I just hit my computer like a big gorilla and accidentally dislodged my microphone. Uh, but what I was saying is Duplos. It's like a big. Uh, uh, like a bunch of balloons, like a ball pit, whereas Legos is like jumping into a uh, pool of used needles. And <laughs> so, so maybe like a, true. a pit is the bad is a bad choice here. But maybe, is there another activity that you could do, build le- entirely out of Lego that would maybe mm. satisfy people? Because I feel like this guy battle royale. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. and you've touched on exactly what I was thinking because Me one too. of the low key areas your thoughts. of of Lego that people don't realize is that Lego robotics is a big thing. Yeah. Um. So you could reenact battle bots in sort of like a battle arena, where everybody constructs a uh, Lego robot and then lets it loose, and a battle royale sort of King of the Hill situation. Yeah, and, and you whoever know gets the most kills in the Mall of America wins. Yeah, I think it, I think you couldn't track kills because you're gonna do so much damage to everybody. It's got to be you got to build for last man standing. Who last who lasts the yeah. longest. Yeah, that's fair. Good, but point. that also that does put the imagination into the Lego Imagination Center. Like, who can imagine the strongest bot that will survive this battle royale in the pits? But well, I, think I think we can work on the name still. Well, you could call it the Lego Zone. Or something like that. Or sure. the battles, the Lego battle zone. The Lego Duh. Dome. <laughs> the Lego Dome. <laughs> the Lego Dome. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, enter the Lego Dome. I two like the- Lego enter. One Lego leave. <laughs> <laughs> Lego my... I would love to incorporate Egos in this. I would too. alas, we can't. we can't. Ben's yeah. favorite syrup? Lego syrup. Ego syrup. Damn it! <laughs> no, I like Lego syrup. I he open loves... it up, and just an entire minifigure comes out. You build it <laughs> yourself. No, but Ben love Ego syrup. Facts. Yeah, I wish that I could find it. I think they discontinued it. They, they might probably have. did. Yeah, mm. it's because I was the only one buying it. <laughs> then yep. you didn't buy enough. <laughs> yes. Damn you, mother! Uh-huh. <laughs> I wish I was a, a better simp for the brands I love. Uh oh, it's a think tank. Oh, I think it is. It's time to oh, jump in. Oh jeez. Splash. Welcome to the think tank. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. Uh, this is a part of the show where uh, we tell you what to think. We are a prop- pr- a, pr- a, prop- a propaganda podcast. Uh, but I'll, no, not really. So this is part of the show where we take a break and we tell you about where you can follow follow us online. Damn, I was trying to emulate uh, stutter, and now I think I fully incorporated it into my uh, speech. I've got dude, I've gotten so bad at talking now that really? I go talk to people. Yes, like I just because I have no purpose to talk. Like I'll talk yeah. with Galini, but like other than that, it's like. I I could just not talk. I hear other people talking. It's like yeah, that's what people sound like talking and. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so follow us on Twitter, at Let's Bring Them In. Follow us on Instagram, at Let's Bring Them In. New content, uh, often, actually, I'm, I'm trying, uh, I'm trying. Our, our intern who runs the account is trying, it's, no, it's me, I was kidding. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the podcast. Please. Um, yeah, it's important that you do, because that's how we know that you care. Yeah. You uh, can say that you care, but we need actions, like pressing a button on your computer or your phone. Email the there podcast are, if you have any questions or if you want us yeah. to review something in particular. Yeah, that email address is let's bring them in at gmail.com. Listening to a podcast is kind of like being in a relationship, and everyone's got different love languages that they give love and that they receive love. And we, we are a toxic love. relationship where we will consume your soul and hopefully yeah. your friends as well. We're the succubus that wants to make sure that you don't have any really strong 
connections outside of the podcast. But yeah, we're all you need. There, imagine if you, you are talk subscribing to, one person. to another podcast. I'm going to gaslight you until you unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just rewatched Midsummer yesterday. God, oh, man. So, so much better the second time. Good, great, very good movie. I will say, as the Night of Ethics, we will not be gaslighting our listeners. <laughs> this is so. Let it be known that Derek, as the Night of Ethics, has not taken a stand on anything that we've said in like the past probably two months yeah, but it's he true. cares about your mental well-being That's the only thing and I will care not about let us you. gaslight we've you. said no. so much questionable shit over the past few months and derek has yeah. remained silent i've been I'm, fine I'm, by and large this is a crazy year 2020 by and large i've been fine with everything but the I bar's been lowered you, listener yeah <laughs> to give you an example i i almost wanted to put myself in horny jail for <laughs> saying that we should see main uh we should see actors naked after movies yes yeah derek said nothing Nope. But Derek doesn't want you to second guess your own uh, emotions. And I'm an actor that could be in a movie someday that would have to be naked. <laughs> hey, that's Evan. for my friend Evan. <laughs> Bonk. Yes. You've been sent to horny jail. I've been sent Bonk. to horny jail. Do not pass go. By the way, Do not collect $200. Derek has always been naked during this podcast. So if you haven't been imagining him naked, then you doing yourself you haven't been listening. But you let it be known, listening. Derek looks like Sasquatch because he's so hairy. Yeah, in a hot way though, like the you know the Jack Lance message. Yeah, it's, like it's like a it's like self censoring in a way, sort yeah. of, sort and of. pretty cool. I'm, I'm uh, so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, uh, California, for doing yeah. this to us. Oh, Cal- yes, very epic. Kind of a not really a gamer move, actually. Very Jess gamer. Put a temperature gauge on my desk so we could tell how hot the office is because the and AC doesn't reach the place. Real hot. It will. Yes, it has been sort of like a little, a little temptress on my desk to say, how, how committed are you to staying in this room, Ben? Good point. <laughs> what is, uh, what is, what is your temperature's been hitting? Currently at 85. Uh, That's it's warm. Been, That's warm. It's been getting close to 90 for a while. It's just yeah. not great. Can I, <laughs> can I share something disgusting with you both and also, I guess, by extension, the listeners? Yes. Yes. Now. Share when it I, no one's here. Please. When I record my chapters for my audiobook I'm currently working on, I have to turn the portable air conditioners off, I have to turn the fans off, I have to close the windows and the doors, I have to create a very quiet and very warm space so that I can yeah. get the cleanest audio possible. A couple days ago, I was recording and it was so hot in my room from the ambient temperature outside, but also from, you know, running a computer that heats up eventually and then also just expelling hot air out of my lungs for an hour straight i was dripping with so much sweat you would have thought i just took a damn shower wow. it's disgusting that's not it's not inappropriate enough i wanted to hear something like i stained my clothes with like salt from my I, sweat something I, like that i can show you the hat that i run in that is stained with salt if you'd like I would yeah, like to get salty do. about other things, and okay. by, by those things I mean brands. Anyone I'd like to put salt out of the tank. I like yeah. to put salt on the Legos and to eat them. All right, <laughs> leave us a five star review, and we'll read it on the think tank. All right, let's True. jump back in. Welcome back from the think tank, you stinky motherfucker. Oh, I, yeah, I our optics that from that are so bad, but I can't. I I can do nothing about it because it's on brand at this point. And also, um, you can't prove it. Any because teachers, no one tells us. teachers or parents listening to the show that have maintained at this point, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. And also, it would be great to hear from you As all, about yeah, how well, much you hate that word. Oh my gosh! Hey, oh. uh, let's hear another review. Yeah. Please. <laughs> okay, glasses boy. Yeah. This is from Bobby Pomerlo, a one-star review from Google Reviews. So disappointing. <laughs> okay, Severus Snape. <laughs> Employees were good, and all into the place looked nice. That's a weird way to phrase that, Bobby. Anyways, lo- the place looked nice, but... It's the freaking <gasps> Lego store, and you couldn't even find specific characters. Not much of a selection on kits, either. What's up, Lego? Why is it easier and find more of your stuff on Amazon than your store or website? Mm, yes, so mm, this why is Why do I have those. a bigger selection online than in a brick-and-mortar? Mm. Such has never been heard of. 
This is one of those things that I love to see from uh, reviews, especially where it's yes. like instead of and it's something that I think could be like one of those benefits of like COVID is when people would go into a brick and mortar expecting it to have a greater uh, stock than mm -hmm. an online store that is a warehouse stock. So it's like you go into the store and you're just like, maybe. And you're kind of relying on like potential instead of just calling ahead and being like, you got it yeah. or you don't. Well, th again, this is a tourist attraction as much as it is, as it is a store. You're you're mm -hmm. banking on parents buying something not because their kids are genuinely interested in it, but it's supposed to be a takeaway from the experience. Yeah, of capture here. the memory. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. if we have stuff like the Lego Dome where kids will battle it out, they'll they'll come away with a robotics kit. Absolutely. But sure. if they're just sort of building around, they're going to build some bullshit. And, and we want them not to be just building bullshit. We want to sort of have them uh, craft something and then have it rated by judges and yeah. then have the parents have to purchase the materials that went into that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, like and the you get it Pokemon in like, Beauty concept. Con exactly. Oh, sure. It's, it's like Arbitrary. an amalgamation of, like, obviously Lego, but the Pokemon Beauty contest and then also... Um, the people who pose on Hollywood Boulevard for pictures, and once you take a picture with them, they charge you money for it because... I, <laughs> yeah, not quite. Here's where I think the difference oh, okay. is. What, where those people are sort of trying to like do gotcha a little bit, where they're, yeah. they're having your kids do it, we've got a, uh, a panel of uh, scouts, talent scouts, oh. that are walking around as, the, as kids build their material. And oh. once they are like building something truly outrageous yeah. and radical, they start grooming them. Yeah, exactly. Their uh, creations. Let's be a little, a little bit queer with our language. Okay. Not for sex. Okay. Thank no, you. No, come on. Not for. <laughs> not for sex. Not for sex, Derek. I for didn't say they talent. were grooming kids. All right. No. <laughs> we're looking for the next I, I master builder. I don't think there's builder. anything wrong with kids going into a shared space so they can be groomed by adults. Yeah, for their creations. Yes. So that they From can their have handiwork. their talents probed and... Uh, Yes. No, I hear you. Listeners, do you understand why there's only so much I can do? Sometimes I got to take a back seat over the last couple of months. And be like, I just gotta let him go. I just gotta let him keep going. <laughs> Derek's with the been cruising. Yeah, it's a, you're taking the back seat, but we're driving one of those slingshots, so it's only two yeah. front seats. I do know what you're saying. We're we're we got we got talent scouts in the building. Kids are playing in the pits, and they're yeah. looking for the next master builder. And when they find them, whatever they're building, that's a new kit. Parents, you gotta pay for it. And Lego Masters is already like a show, but I think we can ramp up the drama and say mm -hmm. like Master Chef, like Master Lego Junior is like mm -hmm. now a thing, where yeah. we we can talent scout that show from these Lego centers, Definitely. the Lego Dome. And this is a great idea because all of these kids, they're I mean they're going to be the kids who have a lot of Lego kits. So True. what are you doing? You're creating a better customer. You're linking mm -hmm. them in, digging your teeth in deeper, eventually trying to find the kid that's going to buy a house that's built out of Legos. Exactly. Yeah, that's the long game. It's a dream. Yeah. You're also, yep. you're not, you're not wasting resources and capital on broadening your audience. You're saying no. these are the Disgusting. kids that are so, they've already doubled down on Legos. Let's target them further. Derek, let's, let's yeah. get another review. All right, please. Now, another, I need it. Another TripAdvisor review. This one comes to us from Andrea Griff, forty-two of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it's a one dot out of five. I don't. I don't I'm not saying stars because TripAdvisor uses dots. I don't know. Whatever. Needs to be monitored by staff. Is the title. This is a great area for kids to play after walking in the mall, and it gives parents plenty of time to relax somewhat. But my child was bullied <laughs> because he made a really <laughs> shitty spaceship. <laughs> the scouts really picked on him. Uh, <laughs> what I found extremely disgusting as a parent of a child, oh, is a parent of a child, had her feet on a Lego table as if she were at home putting her feet on a coffee table. I like that it was the parents that she had problems with. I couldn't believe she had the nerves to do that in public, and I believe if it were staffed or monitored in that area, then things like that wouldn't happen. That kind of ended my child's experience quicker than I'd like. 
Yeah, I'm sure that's what ended your child's experience. Your child who probably, like, licks the bottoms of shoes. Yeah. yeah I lo- absolutely love when things like this happen. <laughs> it's so uh, Twofold. I love when, number one, you got the people in public that, like, push the boundary of getting comfortable and mm-hmm. getting too comfortable. People of Walmart. Make yourself well, at home is more of a just a, a talking phrase than an actual yeah. suggestion. Yes. Well, more like, oh, oh, that's like a p- t- taking it from all oh, like a like a kiss on the cheek to you're making out in the middle of a restaurant and <sighs> it's uncomfortable for yeah. a lot of people in here. And then you've got the oh, like, you know, he's sitting up like he's got his feet up on a chair. He's comfortable. He took his shoes off. Yeah. That's gross. There are Things kids like playing right around him. <laughs> yes. Ew. So th- then the other aspect is it ruined this person's child's experience. <laughs> yeah. It ruined the kid's time. My instead question, of- <laughs> Debbie, is that did it ruin your child's experience or did it make you want to take your child out of that experience? <laughs> yeah. Did, did your you- kid come up to you and say, Mom, I need to leave. That man's feet are really stinky. I'm in this kid's <laughs> head right now. And that okay. kid... Was building a spaceship, and half of the pieces necessary for the construction for safe space flight were in that child's mouth and pants. Uh, And then uh, they looked over half a spaceship in their mouth and sees a woman with her feet up on a table. Giant mouth. Oh, the impropriety! (laughs) And immediately (laughs) tugs on their mother's uh, uh, night night frock. Frock. Father, I can't stand it any longer. We must leave this horrid place. Yeah, the mom was cool with it. The mom's a chill bloke, but this yeah. child, absolute narc, tried <laughs> yeah. to call the cops. I, I, I just, I love it because it's like, it, you can clearly tell that it's, the mom is like, that's gross, right? Yeah, we should mm-hmm. leave. And the kid's like, I kind of want to see how many of these uh, skinny Legos I can put up my nose. Yeah. Uh, ideally, our our new talent scouts will take care of such impropriety yeah. so that our fancy uh, fancy lads will not be taken well, aback yeah. by the experience. Should we make an authoritarian regime in the Lego uh, imagination? I, I don't think land? we need to. This is a space for growth. This is a space. <laughs> this is an incubator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a mm-hmm. great point. It'll be too hot yeah. for uh, the perverse. But it's a given. If if we got the scouts there, they're kind of acting as like enforcers of the rules, and they're going to say to so and so, "You need to remove your feet from the from the creation space because these little <laughs> geniuses need room to work." This will be self policing, I think, at that point. Baby yeah. geniuses. Because Absolutely. you're going to get parents that are like, "My child needs a space because if he doesn't create this." His his masterpiece here. Then he's not going to get picked up by the scouts. If he's not picked up by the scouts, he won't join Lego Masters Junior. If he's not yep. picked up by Lego Masters Junior, well, that's his whole television reality show career over with. So Debbie, put your feet off of the goddamn table. Exactly. I like to think of the same parent that tries to get their kid in, but the kid's only like four, so it's not old enough. And they're like, No, no, he makes really good stuff. And yeah. he can't because he's a four-year-old. He's just a regular four-year-old. Rules uh, are rules. Like the kids like the parents are like building with their child's hands and saying, yeah. "Look how creative Billy is." <laughs> he told me to make this, <laughs> sir. <laughs> because you couldn't make it when you were a kid does not mean you can now live out your dreams through your underage child. That could be am, one of the saddest. I am nearly. I am nearly Billy's vessel. <laughs> Billy has the vision for the Buckingham yeah. Palace you know, <laughs> mixed with Star you. Wars. Theoretically, if I could think of this, his genetic make his genetic makeup is all mine. True. He could think of this. Just it's, give him time. It's the same parents who do their child's like science experiment and have send them in with it. The child's like, I don't. It's a, it's a volcano. I don't know, <laughs> man. The, the parents are more excited about the grade than the kid. They're like, I worked so hard on that. How did we get an A minus? Yeah, exactly. I'd be so pissed. I mean, how did you get an A? How did Billy? How did you get an A minus? I think we might have solved it for them. Okay, here's another idea real fast. Just sure. something off the cup. They could give hot dogs out. I think that would make Lego... Terrible idea, because no, the, they'll it, get ketchup good... on the Legos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would think that maybe the issue would be getting relish in between like the blocks, but the ketchup is the issue. No, that's huh? the mortar. You <laughs> might as well spray it with that thing you were talking about earlier. With mustard. <laughs> mustard. Have you ever tried to get mustard off of anything once it dries on? That's, that's a war crime. Glue. Yeah. <laughs> you just well, so what you do to get it off is put on more mustard. <laughs> oh. But maybe. then it's a, it's a it's a, your standard figure it out later. If you turn it into, into a gas and then fill the store with it. <laughs> you could, yep. 
pour bleach on it and then oh I could I could find a way to make it mustard gas. Yeah. Maybe not too fast, but <laughs> your typical uh, one knife stuck in, use another knife to get that knife out. Well, <laughs> yes. Before we uh the UN put sanctions on this podcast. Derek, what are we going to do to to uh the Lego Imagination Center? We are going to be billing them. You're welcome. Uh you know what time it is, players. It's uh time for the tweet corner. Before you ever think about tweets, you must begin to wonder. Automatic rifle shooting out blanks because it's Tweet Corner time. Hey, listener, you up? Ooh, Uh uh-huh. I'm gonna slide into your DMs with these tweets. I don't. Uh Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's canon now. So the first tweet we got here is by at no Powerade in USA. This is a great account. He used to be on, uh, I think he was on Vine. He was very funny. Mm. Uh, at N-O-P-O-W-E-R-A-D-E-I-N-U-S-A. Wow, that was really, like, disjointing. I felt like I was misspelling it, but mm. believe in myself, I guess. Guy at AA meeting. My name's Trevor. Haven't seen my kids in three years because of my meth abuse. I'm eight months sober. Me going next. Mm, me likey ice cold beers a little too muchy. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I crack one open with the boys a little bit too much. I'm yeah, so, sometimes I get a bad hangover and I go, ooh, it hoits. <laughs> Uh, speaking sometimes of which, I, I can't rally quick enough for the boys <laughs> oh no you hate to it's, let down the boys it's such a bad uh hangover the other day i like mm. i because i drank to the point where it's like oh i'm having a great time and like i'd forgotten about the concept of hangovers but uh, we're getting older we man. always do we always forget about yeah. the concept of hangovers until the morning yes when the morning comes when the, when the night what never mind so this one's by uh, Xavier Rotnofsky. I've mentioned this account recently, actually, at X-R-O-T-N-O-F-S-K-Y. Girls are the hotter version of guys. It's true. <laughs> that's you know, it. If you think about it. Such a simple tweet. That's true. When well, you think about it, it's kind of true. I yeah. think most people of all sexual orientations and genders agree with that, honestly, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you think about it, it do be true. <laughs> Most uh, girls okay. I know think that as well. Uh, true. <laughs> kind of true, man. It's true. Uh, this one, this, when I read this one, it was very much a damn. Uh, good point. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, go for it, go for it, go for it. Uh, Do it. Don't think about it, just say it. Don't think about it. Uh, all right, all right. Good point. I have to be brave and be myself. So That's this right. one's by at Suicide Pets. Oh boy. At S-U-I-C-I-D-E-P-E-T-S. <laughs> yes, exactly. You have an idea of what it's going to be like. So I'm going to say asterisk and asterisk, all right? Asterisk. Mm-hmm. Fat, stupid, 30-something white woman with big glasses replying to fatter, stupider white woman with checkmark and asterisk. Woo, child. Oh, sweet child. Sweet, sweet laud. So much this. Damn, that's very accurate. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's why I had that kind of response, because I purposefully said it in my voice, because I don't want to emulate AIDE. Yeah. But it's also like, yeah, it's I, oh, one of my favorite Twitter accounts. that was oh, only man. like active for a couple of days was like AAVE fails. And it had a similar version of this where it's like some, I don't know, some person of color made a comment. A female person of color made a comment, and then, like, a, I think it was some white woman responded, like, with child, and the, <laughs> the woman of color responded with a question mark, and I was like, that's probably got to be, like, the biggest burn to yeah. that person, that oh, reply, yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. we're, no, I, I'm not feeling what you just said, that's, <laughs> you that's you not it. sincerely Betsy at the end of that tweet. <laughs> yeah. You so, posted yes. cringe, bro. Exactly. That's this one will go very well in my cringe compilation. Uh, all right, I've got two more. So this one's by at Harry Weinreb at H A R R I W E I N R E B, asking them if I can go backstage at McDonald's. Oh, <laughs> damn! That is a lot of implications, I like and all that of them lot. I like. 
My name has been Benjamin Hart. I'm your up-and-coming marketing rock star. Thank you so much for listening to Let's Bring Them In. And as always, this has been Sir Derek, your Knight of Ethics. Tune in next week when we rebrand the Rescue Heroes because the entire state of California is on fire and they need a little bit of help. They are. Uh, lots of scary old... Scary yeah, man, Paw Patrol. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And Paw, Paw Patrol. Patrol could do with some help. Uh, the... Uh, German Shepherds are class traders. Okay, so we got the <laughs> hot take of the we got, week. Yes. Well, that one that one comes. Uh, I'm going to give another shout out because wow. that one is not my idea. That Coming right from, for Chase. That one's from Chase White Wiedemann, yes. Uh, so we got a tweet here from Frankie McDonald at F-R-A-N-K-I-E-M-A-C-D. Almost misspelled that one there. Damn, I'm, I told you guys I can't read. Uh, just imagine if a car went 900 septillion miles per hour. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, just that'd be so it. fast. It'll peel the paint right off. Yeah. Uh, this has been Evan Klein, your time wizard. Uh, the checklist. Drink water. Mm. Uh, eat a vegetable. And then don't forget that Black Lives Matter now and forever. Uh, we'll be billing you. See you.